head down to a local co-op FS we work with a lot do a lot of good stuff with they put on our fertilized for us we got some new stuff that we're gonna try this year uh, rises orb it's from Fosso Lucians. it's like a dap kind of comes encapsulated it's supposed to be supposed to use phosphorus a lot better it's supposed to be able to core them a lot of your phosphorus just wasted it's out there it don't get used and whatnot this is supposed to uh, it's been it's designed by some professor at penn state in the 90s somehow studying how roots work anyways you're supposed to uptake the phosphorus a lot better and because of that it's it's a it's an 8390 fertilizer that comes encapsulated in their stuff to help it help it take up the nutrients better help the roots work better on it uh so because of that you don't have to put as much on say you're supposed to use 33 percent whatever your uh prescription calls for for your map you're supposed to be able to use 33 percent less of this or 41 percent less or 40 percent less than your dap recommendations so and yield just as good so in the third the theory is you will save money while make it just as much yield so it will make you more money they're a new company they're small they're just kind of launching we decided we'd give them a look see uh see what this stuff can do they've had a lot of on trial locations over the past several years 14 different states and now we are we're gonna give them a try see if we can get by with spending a little less on fertilizer because this actually helps take it up a higher percentage of what you put out there for less runoff and less waste supposed to get just as good a yield now i know what the skeptic will say and i'm right there with you we uh we make sure to feed our ground we don't ever starve it so you probably could get away one year without putting anything on it and, and it might yield just as much who knows so i like to uh this might be a multi-year test just like we got the chicken litter multi-year test this could be a possibly one but anywho i don't like just like saying something will work or something won't work we're gonna get out and try it so we're gonna go ahead down the fs get a look see what it looks like get them uh, loading it and uh see them spread it and later on this year we're gonna be having some of the guys out from Foss solutions uh check it out we'll do some soil tamp test maybe some uh leaf test and then let's see in the see in the fall we can see any difference see if we got a return on our investment or not here it is they're getting ready to load it into their spreader the rhizozorb now they're gonna load her up and then we're gonna go spread her out then we'll keep an eye on her all year supposed to be encapsulated with some stuff to help help the plant take it up better This coating that they put on it's supposed to uh boy i forgot my sunglasses there i'm gonna have to go home but it's supposed to give you a 10 percent cost savings plus yield just as much the idea behind it is it slow releases the phosphorus to where you got more for the grain fill and whatnot and all that and better utilize it so we'll see what it does always up for testing yeah so the rhizor takes the place that we use the same amount of potash with it it's just a P replacement, not the K that the potash gives us.
Well, uh, they're loading up with more fertilized now. We've got our uh, rhizorb test done here. So we have a 120 foot swath here. We got a flag on each side. We're putting it on at the recommended rate, which is 40% less than our DAP recommendations. And then we're gonna have what we normally do on each side of it. So, and we'll just come back. We'll do a little soil, soil sampling this, uh, this summer and leaf samples and see if there, it actually slow releases the pea like they say, so it can use it more and more efficiently later in the season without less waste.